Well, good afternoon and welcome to the New York Ice House here in Melbourne for this round five AWIHL clash between the Brisbane Goannas and the Melbourne Ice. Well, the story of yesterday, it was all Melbourne Ice, an 11-1 demolition of the Goannas here at the Ice House. Led from the front by Christina Besselin with a seven-point night. Five goals, two assists, two of them coming with an eight seconds in the last minute of the game. She was backed up by Angela Tharka, who had a, who had a hat-trick herself, five points, as well as Olivia Del Basso, two goals, two assists. And, uh, well, it was all Melbourne ice, as we talked about. Well, well the lone goal coming from the Goannas last night from Kelly Costa on the power play in the second period, but it was a complete rout, and the Goannas were looking to salvage something. This is the last road game for the year. They've only got two more games. That'll be back up in Brisbane in the middle of February. Well, the Melbourne Ice is their last homestand for the, for the year. They'll finish their last four games of the season on the road in Adelaide and Sydney, respectively. So your starting goaltenders for this evening's game, Cashy Atkins gets the start again. But considering the scoreline last night, she was actually very good in net. Um, she just got shelled, unfortunately. Wasn't helped out by defence, but she made a couple of really good stops to keep the scoreline from... Well, could have been even higher than what it was. And in net tonight for the Melbourne Ice, Michelle Coonan getting the start in net. Tommy Powell giving Michelle uh, the start tonight. She's uh, aspiring to go to the Worlds uh, later, which are the f 7th of March. Uh, the Australian women's team for the t Div 2B Worlds, which will be competing in Spain. So uh, she's getting the start tonight, wearing number 91. Your officials for this evening's game, wearing the armbands, Steve DeWitt and your linesman, Fraser Olsen and Petta Goulden. We're underway here at the Ice House. First period action brought to you by Thortec Technologies. This is Sien Pereira back to get it here for the Melbourne Ice. Just digging behind the Melbourne Ice net. Out to Shona Green. With four assists last night. Still hasn't had a goal all season, Shona Green. Racking him up in the assist column. 14 for the season. Pocket. Takes a tumble over the blue line. The Goannas start on the attack. They do go for a line change. Long range shot is wide at Coonan's net. And finds its way to Kirsty Vanderwolf. The two assists herself last night. Pereira. Getting a start with Lauren uh, Corhut on this first defensive pairing for the Melbourne Ice tonight. Megan Gilchrist. He's the tallest player on the ice by at least a foot. Shot from the point there from Costa was wide. And Gilchrist has it again. Gilchrist centers one. No one home for the Goannas. And plenty of time for Olivia Dobasso to try to get a pass out to Kirsty Vanderbilt. This is going to be icing. And we'll have a face-off back in the Melbourne Ice Zone with 15.44 remaining in the first period. So as they stand at the moment, Melbourne Ice firmly on top of this AWIHL ladder are sitting on 18 points with seven games played. The Adelaide Adrenaline now at second. And Goanna's sitting right back in fourth and only four points, nine games. Just the one win and the one overtime loss for them. This is Rutledge. Just controls behind the net. He's got a couple of shooters in front. Goes to Costa now and shoots and scores! Kelly Costa opens the account for the Brisbane Goannas. Right on the doorstep, put it high over Michelle Coonan. Beautiful play there from the visitors. And they draw first blood, unreal tournament style. It's Kelly Costa from Rosanna Rutledge. And it's 1-0 Brisbane Goannas. So Kelly Costa, two goals in two games. Scored the lone goal for the Goannas last night, and she's got the first goal of the game here tonight for the Goannas. This is Parrington. Tries to dangle her way through and almost gave it up there. Only for Lindsay Aldia to take over. We're in number six tonight instead of her usual 19. Probably left it out overnight while the rain was happening. Del Basso had it poked away from her by Watson. Nice. Outlet pass here up to Parkin. Brittany Parkin down the left hand side. Shoots one and Coonan steers it aside pretty comfortably. Puck just bobbles up and plenty of time for Anya Lythaka. 
A real size differential between Gilchrist and Thacker. We got ourselves a penalty coming up and it's going to go against Gilchrist. So our first penalty of the game going against Megan Gilchrist for the hook on Anulai Thaka. And so the Melbourne Ice will get a power play. 14.34 of the first period remaining. Two minutes to Megan Gilchrist. First penalty of the game. The one for four on the power play last night, the Melbourne Ice. It's only uh, Olivia Del Basso with a lone power play goal. And this is her with it now. Goes long range. Quick shot from Besselin. She scores. Power play goal. Less than 12 seconds into the power play. Christina Besselin. Six goals in two games. Five of them last night. One already. 12 seconds with the player advantage. And it's a tied hockey game here, folks. One all. Melbourne Ice drawing level. Well, Christina Beslin, as I talked about last night, had seven points. She's just got eight now. She's brought in to replace uh, Kayla Kolosny, who unfortunately had to leave the team, go back to Canada. And uh, she's, well, she's only played three games, and she's got racked up nine points already. So, excuse me, ten points. She had one in her first uh, outing here with the Melbourne Ice. And it's one all, 14-14, remaining in the first. Pointing. Knocks her player over. And this is Courtney Poole. Just sends this one over to Costa. Outlet pass. It's picked off. And Point and swats it out to the middle. Only for the Goannas to recover. And this is Rosanna Rutledge in a foot race with Cockrell. Forces her into the corner. Rutledge wins out. Rutledge walking in. Tries to center one. And Costa... Couldn't put it, rebound, and off the side of the net. Costa's still got it, though. Goanna's really failing to capitalise on a great opportunity there, but Michelle Coonan had the angle covered. Kelly Costa almost making it her second goal of the game. Emma Gray on the forecheck. Here's another chance for Costa. Backhand shot, and off the side of the net. Coonan sliding over right to cover it, and she does now. And it will have a face-off. Well, Michelle Coonan's net under attack there. Kelly Costa looking for her second goal of the game. So Del Basso and Audi also been given the credit on the assist in that power play goal. So 13-15 remaining in the first. Vanderbilt picks it up now down the left-hand side. This is Bestlin. 2-1-2 two -two break here for the ML1 Ice. Bestlin tries to toe drag her way through the stick of Hawkett. Was unsuccessful. And Watson takes over here for the Goannas. Benning first back to get it for the Goannas. Met solidly there by Vanderwolf. The aggressive forecheck being applied here by the Melbourne Ice. This is Hawkett. Swings this one around to Watson. The play is breaking and one of them. It's a little big collision there. No penalty call. Looked like it was a coincidental. But Cien Pereira and I believe that was Tracy Hawkett come together at the blue line. But... Uh, Incidental play says referee Steve DeWitt. The play continues. Shot there from Parrington and a kick save and a beauty there from Atkins. Wide angle shot. Angans down to challenge. 12 17 remaining. Score remains 1 all. So the Melbourne Ice would have played eight games after this. Got four remaining. Two double headers. One against the Sydney Sirens, which is their. Next opponents and the Adelaide Adrenaline both away. That's over the course of the next two weeks. And the Brisbane Goannas, as we talked about, three-week break. Next game is until the 14th of February up in Brisbane. That's against the Sydney Sirens as well, who playing the Adelaide Adrenaline today. Barker tries to center. Cat Atkins out to challenge. Loose puck she covers eventually. Well, Atkins came out to cut that one off and was that well, her own player ran into her eventually, but. Able to get the glove down and snuff that one out, and we'll have a face-off to the right.
Barrington jousting at the face-off there with Rutledge. Kelly Costa has it now for the Goannas, captain of the Brisbane team. Rutledge pokes this one up. Here comes Emma Gray. Return, looking for the give and go to Rutledge. Just couldn't hold it. Costa backs her up. Rutledge with a bit of time and space with Sarah Teed in pursuit. Rutledge back to the point now. Costa thought about the shot, pokes it through, looking for a tip. Coonan covers. Good job from her. Nice interplay there between Rutledge and Costa. And we'll have a face-off to the right of Michelle Coonan. Much tighter game so far, vis-a-vis -vis last night's encounter. Georgia Carson to Cockrell out on this second pairing for the Melbourne Ice. Pocket behind the net, stripped of it there by Bessland. And she starts out three on two against the Goannas. Bessland down the left-hand side, drops it for Carson, shot through, through traffic, never made it through. And Bessland just does a good job of holding the line. Turned it straight over to Watson. And out come the Goannas out of their own zone. Rink wide pass, looking for Brittany Parkin. Just bobbled up over her stick and just elects to dump it in and go for a change. Cockrell, outlet pass. Eventually finds its way to Lindsay Aldia. And a good job of back checking there from Madison Poole. Left to speed, just looking for one of her own players, but they're all changing. Vanning goes D to D. A little too hot for Watson to handle. Gilchrist does a good job, loses her edge. Watson's going to get a second go at it. Shooting! And getting the paddle down was Coonan. Rebound and Melbourne Ice clear the danger. Probably Michelle Coonan's first real test of a shot there from the Goannas. Pull now. Just dumps this one in the corner. Cockrell's going to be back first to get it. Here for the Melbourne Ice, just digging there with Megan Hurlahey. Best than though. Down the right hand side. Going to Shona Green and just over her stick. She manages to gather at the half wall. Gwen is trying to clear their zone. They do so now. And out comes Megan Gilchrist, one on one with Cien Pereira. Gilchrist just holds up, waiting for reinforcements to arrive. And one does in the form of Rutledge. Rutledge tries to wrap around and a save by Coonan. And she keeps it at 1 1. Good job by Michelle Coonan getting down low to cover the posts. And Rutledge on the wraparound. And it's 9 24 remaining in the first. Score remains 1 apiece here at the Ice House. Pereira has to bank this one off the boards. Rutledge turns it straight over. And Del Basso trying to stick handle her way through and comes back to the Goannas. Here's Rosanna Rutledge just offside was Emma Gray and we'll have a face off. Melbourne Ice win the draw. Banked out. I say the Goanna's coming out with a lot more energy than they had yesterday. And stung by that uh, clinical display as Emma Gray takes her man, her player down. And uh, no penalty, player continues. Costa. Just dumped in there by Hurl Hay. That one goes to the right-hand side. Hawkett couldn't get to it. And now come the Melbourne Ice. Outlet pass now here for Anya Lathaka. Rink wide pass. Del Basso just had to hold up and just remain onside. Good job from her. Waiting for appointment to arrive. One dozen form. Out here she shoots. And a great save from Atkins. Down low to challenge. And a little bit of push and shove there from Hawkett and Thugger, but nothing forthcoming. And we'll have a face off. Well, Lindsay Aldi arriving with a bullet. And Atkins more than equal to the task. So Melbourne Ice really in control of the face-offs so far in the first period. 
But uh, the game still remains even. That's Courtney Poole. Puts it in behind the net. Gilchrist. Shona Green arriving on the back check. It just settles things down here for the Melbourne Ice. It's a give and go from Sarah Teed and three on two break developing here for the ice. Green, long range shot and that one was deflected and wide. Venning to Hurlahay and Gilchrist comes out now here for the go. Anna's just out, does her player in Sarah Teed. Gilchrist still has it, gave it away. And Aldia with a pretty comfortable poke check. Danger not over though for the ice. Venning, good job to hold the puck in. Bobbling off the dasher. But it's the Melbourne Ice who come away with it one-on-one. -on -one. Watson versus Green, and Watson became out the victor. And the Goannas take the pressure down, just a couple of PSI. Outlet pass, getting a stick on it there was Rutledge. And going high off the glass was Cockrell. Here's Christina Betlin. Betlin tries to dance her way through, through the slot, gets a shot through. And Atkins with the save. Great job from Christina Betlin. Made something out of nothing there. And forced Atkins to make the save, and we'll have a face-off 7.04 remaining here in the first. 1-1 the score. <laughs> McDonald outlet pass, looking for Rutledge. Finds its way back to Christina Cockrell. I can firmly say that the puck has actually spent the majority of the time in the Melbourne Ice zone. Much better attacking play from the Goannas in this game. Cockrell. Green. Nice outlet pass. Vanderwolf two on one break here with Besslet. Vanderwolf. Besslet. High slot shoots and a timely poke check there from Kelly Costa on the back check. Great back check there from the McGribbison Goannas skipper. Besslet. It's another goal and it tries to centre. No one home there for the ice. It finds its way all the way back to the point. Corhut with a shot and that one was weak and tipped into the corner. Parrington give and go here with Beslin. And read pretty well there by Lenny Numa. And out come the Goannas now. Costa, the goal scorer so far this weekend for the Goannas. Down the right hand side. Centre's one looking for the tip. And that one just through the crease and out of danger for Michelle Coonan. Del Basso, rink wide pass. Parrington down the right hand side, winds up and into the glove of Atkins, who liked to just steer it aside. Like a real knuckleball. They're tough to hold on to. Scrum developing behind the net now. Orchid digging at it there with Del Basso. Christine Badgley is going to be first to get it, but it finds its way back to Del Basso. Centers one, and Atkins got the paddle out and steered aside. Foot race now between Badgley and Pereira. Badgley's going to get to it first. Centers looking for Watson, who was the trailer, and just off of her skate, and ends up with Tharka. Orkut almost shoulders her into the boards. Brittany Park in there for some support. She can't control it. Melbourne Ice can in the form of Olivia Del Basso. Melbourne Ice defence going for a line change. Del Basso does likewise, dumps it in, heads to the bench. Venning back to get it here for the Goannas. 4.36 remaining in the first. Momentum shifting back the way the Melbourne Ice is. Besslin, pretty much all on her own, waits for the troops to marshal. Shona Green just couldn't control things. Madison Pool can, and well, her outlet pass cut off there by Beslin. Melbourne Ice reset their counter attack. Well, it's picked off though here by the Goannas. Stricking in is Watson, all on her own. Watson, centers one, and well, had two players in the high slot and didn't find either of them, but it did find Christine Beslin, and she's walking into the slot now. Beslin cuts to the outside, backhand shot, oh, hit the pipe. Beslin looking for her second goal of the game. And denied by the iron. Watson. 
done the breakout here for the Goannas. This is Hurlahay. Goannas changing, so she's got to do it herself. Pull. Just puts a weak shot on it, but it spills out to Costa. Costa walking in, backhand shot slides through the crease. And no real danger there for Michelle Coonan. Well, down goes Audio in the corner with Rutledge. No penalty called. Play continues. Oh, Vanderwolf. Oh, she was in alone on Atkins had she got a stick on that. She did down and uh, turned it straight over, but Vanderwolf just uh, one step too slow. And a short breakaway opportunity there for the Melbourne Ice. Cockrell. Likes to play this one up. This is Cockrell now pinching in. Goes to Shona Green. Shooting! And getting down and cutting the five hole off was Atkins. And we'll have a face off to the left of her goal. Score remains one all. 248 remaining in the first period here at the Ice House. Well, good time to mention AWHL Finals Series will be on the first week of March. It's the first to the third of March. That's about, well, about four weeks, five weeks from now. And it'll be held in Adelaide this year. They're turned to host. So if you're interested in attending, jump on awhl.com.au and source your tickets. We'll be streaming those as well. For those of you who can't attend and are international fans, so just keep your eye on that website and on the Facebook page as well. Del Basso cuts to the high slot. Del Basso still has it. Del Basso centers one. Oh, and Parrington just couldn't put the icing on the cake. Great job from Olivia Del Basso. Beat just about everyone on the Goanna's team. And Parrington just couldn't connect. Del Basso centers one. Parrington again and just slides it wide of the net. Momentum in favour of the Melbourne Ice at the moment. Goannas through pull. Outlet pass. 2-1-2 two -two break here for the Goannas. This is badly shooting. And that was just off the side of the net. Follow-up chance there. Looking for Watson who was pinching in. And she couldn't follow up. Danger not over though. Badly. Puts it behind the net now for Gilchrist. Back to the point. Costa had it poked away from here with a stick there of Olivia Dawson. And Parrington just helps into the zone. Melbourne Ice go for a line change. Hurlahay down the left-hand side. Pursued there. And almost cleaned up by Olivia Dawson. And she, she cleans up Mil Megan Gilchrist eventually. And no penalty. Plays continues. Hurlahay. Things starting to get a little physical out there. And we do have a penalty finally. And it looks like Sien Pereira is going to get the gate for a body check. And the Brisbane Goannas will go on their second power play of the game. Zero for one so far. Sien Pereira gets the gate for a body check at 101 remaining in the first period. So a chance for the Goannas to capitalize and perhaps draw level with just over a minute remaining here in the first at the Ice House. Gray back to Costa at the point. Costa now, plenty of time. Shooting through traffic, kick save from Coonan. Rebound spills out, and they score! <laughs> Michelle Coonan made the initial save. Rebound spilled out to the top of the crease, and Emma Gray's there to stuff home the rebound. Power play goal for the Goannas. They draw ahead. It's 2-1 in favour of the visitors. So Emma Gray with her first goal assist, I believe, is going to go to Costa. That's three points for her on the weekend. And the Brisbane Goanna is a reversal of last night. And they're ahead 2-1, 44 seconds remaining in the first. One for two on the power play tonight. And Megan Gilchrist is going to get credited with a second assist there. So her first point of the weekend. So the Goannas in front. Costa did well. Vanderwolf loses her edge. Those lines can be deadly hit the ice house. This is Parker down the right hand side. Poked away there by Lindsay Aldia. And she gets a headman pass now here to Shona Green. One on one. Green cutting to the high slot. Shooting. And a good save there from Atkins. Out high at the top of the crease to take the angle away. And deny Shona Green much to shoot at. And the score remains. 
2-1 in favour of the Goannas. And we'll have a face-off in the Goannas zone. 15 seconds left to play in the first. Costa just whips this one around. Oh, big collision at centre ice as uh, Cockrell and Christine Badgley came together. And things starting to get a little physical towards the end of that period. There was a couple of big collisions. But it remains 2-1 at the end of the first. Brisbane Goanna's goals to Emma Gray and Kelly Costa. And for the Melbourne Ice, lone goal to Christine Besselin. On the po both of those last two were on the power play. So Kelly Costa with two points, Emma Gray with one. Christine Bestland continues her hot form. She's on eight points for the weekend. So just a short break at the first intermission here in the AWHL, and we'll have a longer one in between the first and sorry the second and third. Big shout out to all of our listeners, or viewers I should say, unless the, there's some kind of pirate radio stream that I don't know about, and that's probably not a good thing. But uh, that all what tuning in from all around the world. Appreciate your support of the AWHL, especially the families of the imports that come over for a bit of a mission for them to get up at three in the morning and support their family members. But we do appreciate the support as we do the people who turn up here every week. So as we mentioned before, that uh, Australian women's team competing in the Div 2B uh, championships in Spain, which will commence on the first, sorry, the seventh of March, and. Uh, a couple of fundraising events in between now and then going towards funding that team uh, as you may or may not be aware in Australia it's not a professional sport here so players have to fund their own uh, to an extent anyway their own travel to represent their country and uh, quite a hard slog particularly for them and the families it cuts several thousand dollars and um, people have to sacrifice their annual leave too if they're working as well so it's a big task but we do appreciate any support um, that give these players, both the women's and men's and juniors teams, which will all be competing soon in their re respective uh, world champs. The men, senior men's team is the 13th to the 19th, I believe, in Iceland, the week before the AIHL season kicks off down here. So that's going to be a quite a tough turnaround for those boys as they come back and have to start their own domestic league the week later. But uh, no easier for the women who they finish their season and then t literally the next day they jump on the plane to go to Spain. So... Rough life down here in Aussie, but uh, not so rough if you're passionate as enough about the game. So, start of the second period, the Brisbane Goannas 2-1 up here over the Melbourne Ice at the Medibank Ice House. As we said, last home game for the Melbourne Ice for the season and the last road trip for the Brisbane Goannas for the year. I said all four teams will be taking part in the AWIHL finals weekend in the first weekend of March in Adelaide at the Thebedon Ice Arena. Just a short delay here, a bit of a Helmet issue, but referee Steve DeWitt ready to get things going here for the second period. And here we go. Round round two, period two, second frame, whatever you want to call it. Goannas and Ice. Goannas 2-1 up here at the Ice House. Watson. Del Basso in on the forecheck and almost forced a turnover. Badgley just uh, couldn't hold on to it. And out it comes now to Hawkett. Just evades the check there of Cockrell and gets it out now here to Christine Badgley. And she goes for the line change. Probably didn't see Brittany Parkin streaking on the right-hand side. And she tries to send it. Looking for the trailer there, Hurler, hey, but she's uh, well behind it. Cockrell. Well, when I move it out now through Parrington. In turn to Olivia Del Basso. I'll turn it over here now for the Goannas. This is Hurler, hey, one against two versus a Long range shot and that, not much uh, mustard on that. And pretty easy for Coonan to steer aside. Coming straight back to the Goannas and they reset things at center ice. This is Poole, picked off by Del Basso. Three Goannas 
in pursuit of her. She elects to retreat and reset things herself. Shona Green, Melbourne Ice captain down the right-hand side. Cuts to the middle and gets cut out herself and forced to retreat to centre. And Green has it again, though. Green down the left-hand side. Shona Green, backhand shot. Good save there from Atkins, taking the angle away. Shona Green with a real explosion there in that passage of play. And almost made it 2-2. Quick shot through the middle there from Green, and uh, well, that was poked away. And just trickled behind the net, and the Goannas with a bit of time and space to clear the zone. They failed to do so as Sarah Teeds picked it off. The puck just bobbles up into the high slot, and Veronica Watson takes over for the Goannas. A blind backhand pass, but uh, Venning's got a bit of time. And the Goannas have the numbers, and they get it out to centre through Herlihy. One on one here with Sarah Teed. Herlihy just wrists one and Coonan forced into a kick save. I think that took a deflection on the way through. Lindsay Aldia starts things out here for the Melbourne Ice. Down the left hand side and just eventually dumped in by Olivia Dawson. Outlet pass was a, was a blind one. Ends up with Cien Pereira's stick. Yeah. Emma Gray in hot pursuit and forces the turnover. Good job from her. The Goannas in control in the Melbourne Ice end. Rutledge has it now for the Goannas. Harassed by Bestland. Rutledge comes out the victor. Still has it. Rutledge tried to center. Just ended up banking it off the side of the net. Puck just slid through the crease and no one home for the Goannas. They still have control in the Melbourne Ice end. Gray trying to play give and go there with Rutledge. Bestlin on the back check gets it out to Pereira. The Goannas hemming the Melbourne Ice in in their own end. Good job from the Goannas on the four check. And just as I said that, they cough it up. Commentators curse. Shona Green down the left hand side around pool. Green getting a bit of a real bobbling puck. The ice can be notoriously rough in that far corner at the ice house. And Costa. This is Del Basso. Del Basso, high slot. Del Basso trying to dance her way through. No dance partner, unfortunately, and forced all the way back out. Almost decapitated the referee with that dump in. And Steve DeWitt uh, keeping his wits about him. This is Rutledge. Banks this off the boards. Carson holds the line. Scrum developing at the blue line. Spills all the way out to Christine Cockle with plenty of time and looking for a fast break now here from Parrington down the right-hand side. Parrington give and go. Center into Del Basso. Del Basso now back to the point. Carson, time, shooting, and wider than it, but kicked aside anyhow by Atkins. Anil Thaka muscled there by Gray. Side of the net, Dawson tries to stuff it home. I don't think anyone knew really what knew where it really was and bobbled up. And eventually over the blue line and danger cleared for the Goannas. As well as for my tongue as I got tongue tied there. And that's going to be icing. And actually too many men's going to be the call. Melbourne Ice, one, two, three, four, five, six, correct. No? Okay. I seen the call only. I thought that uh, could have been a too many men call as it hit one of the Melbourne Ice players as they were changing. It looked like there were six players on, but not in the opinion of referee Steve DeWitt. So we'll have a face-off back in the Melbourne Ice zone. 12-12 remaining in the first. 2-1 in favour of the visitors. Watson shooting and blocked on the way through by Parrington. Rebound shot spills out and well, that was wide through the slot. And no danger to the net of Michelle Coonan. Cockrell. In pursuit is Gilchrist. Scott Krull plays this off the dasher. And out come the Melbourne Ice. 2-1-2 two two break. This is Lucy Parrington. Forced wide by Watson. Good job from her taking that center lane away. And, well, rather errant pass intended for Poole. And this opens up the door for Lindsay Aldia. Aldia centers. Oh, walking in here is Dawson. The shot and it just trickled through the crease. Bestlin with an opportunity to tie the game. And she's put it wide. This is Besslin with it now. 
Centre's looking for Poynton, and uh, that's deflected. Icing's going to be waved off. Michelle Coonan out of her net to play this one. Spills out now here to Poole. Poynton just pokes this one into the Melbourne Ice, uh, sorry, the Goanna zone. Beslin first to it, though. Out does her checker. Teed turns it over. Rootledge. And here come the Goannas. Long range shot from Gray. And Ak sorry, Coonan with the save and just had to swat the rebound away. Side of the net now. Beslin collides there with Gray. Gray goes down, but play continues. Rootledge has it in the corner. Pendulum swinging towards the Goannas now. Melbourne Ice came out with most of the energy at the start of the second. And the Goannas answering back now. Ball backhand pass alone in the slot. There was McDonald and didn't get enough on it. And eventually Coonan covers and we'll have a face-off. Big opportunity there for Hurlahay to make that 3-1, but just uh, we've got a timeout now called by the Goannas. Interesting move. Didn't think there was really, uh, this early in the game too, didn't think there was really much of a momentum shift to, to warrant a timeout, but uh, Coach Daniel Thornton's decided to call one. We should make a quick look at this AWHL scoring race. Well, Olivia Del Basso, with the four points last night, jumps to the, the top of the AWHL scoring race with 18 points. Two goals and two assists. Overall, she got eight goals and ten assists. So she's 18 points. Second uh, to Nat is Natasha Farrier and third, Bethany Kavanagh, two adrenaline players. And Shona Green, the next best-placed Melbourne Ice player, and uh, 12 points and assists. So tied for sixth overall. And best-placed Brisbane player would be Kelly Costa. Tied for eighth. Three goals and one is uh, Sorry, three goals and six assists on nine points. So... Olivia Del Basso staking her claim for the AWHL scoring title. Far from over. Four games left to play for the Melbourne Ice. Plenty of time to add to that tally. So 10 to 21 remaining here in the second. Timeout was called by the Goannas and play resumes now. Cien Pereira plays it off the dasher. Numi holds the line. Straight back to Pereira. Pinching in there was Parkin. And the Melbourne Ice struggling to clear their zone at the moment. Hawkett puts it back in the, the corner for Pereira to fetch again. Now a bit more time and space down. A bit of a cleaner breakout here for the Melbourne Ice. Del Basso tries to nutmeg her way through centre. Can't do so. Melbourne Ice retain possession though. Barrington. Her pass was cut off and helped into the zone there by Del Basso. And the Goannas take charge as the Melbourne Ice players are changing. Badgley just couldn't hold that pass. Parrington can hold this one, though, and Del Basso holds it now. Del Basso centering attempt looking for Parrington. And she's harassed in the corner there from Watson. Puck just loose in the crease and cleared eventually by Brittany Parkin. No one really wanted the puck. And Parkin events... Alex to turn the heat down a few degrees. Ends up with Christina Badgley just on side of the Goanna shooting them and just wide. I think Coonan may have just got the glove on it. Real knuckleball. And danger cleared there for the Melbourne Ice. This is Shona Green. The burst of speed down through center. Christine Cockrell comes to her rescue. Cockrell turns it over. Well, chance here for the Goannas if they can hurry. The Melbourne Ice swarming back in numbers, though. This is Hurlahay. Centers and had pull alone in the slot. She's tied up, though, by Georgia Carson. Shona Green on the back check. Just a bit of a miscommunication there with Olivia Dawson. Poynton just couldn't pull the trigger on that. In the Ireland versus England scrum developing at the blue line. Pool tried to bust it into the zone and ended almost busting the linesman's foot. It's uh, Fraser Olsen over there on the, wearing the stripes. McDonald, McDonald walking in 
And Cockrell got the stick down and deflected it wide. <laughs> and referee Steve DeWitt cops one in the chest. And play continues. All the stripes in the firing line at the moment. And not for the right reasons. I'm not talking about uh, the Bill Murray movie either. Sarah Teed. And we got ourselves a penalty. And it's going to go against Sarah Teed. And I believe it's going to be for a body check. Slash. Exactly. It's the call. It could have been slash or body check. So it's actually going against Rosanna Rutledge. I thought that was actually going to go against Sarah Teed. But I stand corrected. So Melbourne Ice with a chance to go on the power play and tie things up here. Zero for two tonight so far on the power play. And that penalty to Rosanna Rutledge with 7.34 remaining in the second period. Excuse me, one for two tonight, I should print. Beslin's goal was on the power play. It was 12 seconds into the power play. Scored so many points in the last two games and losing track. So, Goannas will have to kill this one off. Long range shot there. Oh, Atkins spilled it and just went wider than it. Well, that uh, Atkins made the initial glove stop and almost ended up in her own net. Wide angle shot there from Shona Green and that one covered up comfortably by Atkins. Well, uh, Bit of a goaltender's nightmare. So just over 90 seconds remaining on the penalty to Rutledge. And 7.05 left in the second. Del Basso manning the points of this Melbourne Ice power play with Lindsay Aldia. This is Del Basso. Goes to Aldia now. Shooting lane cut off. Goes to Besslin. Working the overload are the Melbourne Ice. This is Del Basso. Del Basso, side of the net, tried to center, looking for Beslin and just turned it straight over. And the Goannas can buy a few seconds. Beslin looking for the one-timer and that one trickles wide. And Atkins eventually covers it up as Parrington was ready to pounce at the side of the net. Just 6.29 remaining in the second. And no change to the scoreline. 0.56 left on the penalty to Rutledge. And uh, zone cleared and all the way back to Michelle Coonan. And she comes out to play it. Vanderwolf just over skates it. Good job from Hurlahay to tie her up and... Just eat a few more seconds up on the power play. This is Lindsay Aldia over the line. Leaves it behind for Del Basso. The interchange with her and Angela Thaka. This is Del Basso. Nine points between those two players last night. This is Del Basso to Aldia. Nothing much on offer from her. Screen in front provided there by Olivia Dawson. This is Vanderwolf. Vanderwolf shooting and straight into the chest of Atkins. Wide angle shot, not much to shoot at. And Atkins equal to the task. And we'll have a face off. So 5.37 remaining here in the second. This is Besslin. Besslin, top of the circle, shoots, kick save there, rebound spills out and cleared by the Goannas. And that was the last chance of the power play. We're back to five on five as Rutledge steps back on the ice, but we're going to go straight back onto a five on four situation as we got a body check and it looks like it's Christine Besslin going to the box. So from hero to villain in one period, Christine Besslin going to go sit for two for a body check and it's the Goannas turn to go on the the power play and they'll get two minutes to make it 3-1 possibly with 5.26 remaining in the second period. We talked about Christine Besslin's at eight points in the last two games. One goal, lone goal scorer tonight for the Melbourne Ice and five goals last night including two in the last minute. Carson high off the glass. 
And trickles out an opportunity for Shona Green, but she's going to be beaten to it by Kelly Costa. Just resets the Goanna's breakout and got reset herself from Parrington. And blind pass, Carson. Back to Shona Green. Parrington just on side. But the Goanna's coming back the other way. 2-1-2. Two, two. Goanna's centering attempt there. Deflected and another one. Trundling behind is Hurlahey and her shot goes wide. Well, Goanna's with a golden chance there to make it 3-1. Not done yet though. Puck in the high slot. Hawkett swats at it. And danger cleared here for the Melbourne Ice. And Watson retreats to fish it out for the Goannas. This is Emma Gray. He's got one of the two goals for the Goannas tonight. Rutledge. Overload in effect here for the Goannas. Rutledge feeds one through off the side of the net. Gilchrist looking for the rebound. The wraparound attempt there. Loose puck. And Carson comes to the rescue of Michelle Coonan. Tried to cover and just out of reach. But not out of reach of Carson Stick. And she sends it the length of the ice all the way down to Atkins. And that gets some tired penalty killers. An opportunity to change here for the Melbourne Ice. 32 seconds remaining on the penalty to Beslin. And the ice could be caught on a break here. Gray just elects to hold up as she didn't have much in the form of reinforcements. Gray still has it pursued there by Lindsay Aldia. Gray, time and space, goes back to the point. 13 seconds left. Watson puts a shot on, couple of deflections, spills out to Costa, she shoots, and a great save from Coonan, they score! The initial shot from Costa, I believe it's Emma Gray who's put it home, and she's got her second of the game. The Goannas have got their third. It's 3-1 Brisbane. Power play goal. Brisbane two for three on the power play tonight. And the Brisbane Goannas total reversal from last night. And it looked so as I was correct, yes. Emma Gray is going to get the goal. Megan Gilchrist is going to get credit of the assist, as is Kelly Costa. So two points for Gilchrist tonight as well. Two for Gray and two for Costa. The Goannas getting things done here at the Ice House. Del Basso. What can the uh, Melbourne Ice respond with? Parrington, Pereira, attacking in alphabetical order, and that one all the way through to Atkins, and she covers up for the faceoff. 317 remaining in the second. So the Goannas would have been licking their wounds last night after that 11-1 destruction, and they've well they've come to play tonight. It's 3-1. Their only victory came on the 9th of November, a road win in Sydney over the Sydney Sirens. That was you know, two months ago. Carson. Carson's uh, pass was an errant one and turned straight over to the Goannas, and Badgley puts this in. Porera back to get it. Just under three minutes on the clock here in the second. Del Basso just uh, over her stick. Watson banks this one off the boards. Porrera, bit of a tennis match with Gilchrist. Watson just gloves this one down to center. Gets a bit of a hook in from Tharka, and that's going to be a penalty. A pretty clear one at that. Anjali Tharka is going to go to the box for hooking, and the Goannas again will go on the power play and a chance to make it four. Two for three tonight already on the power play, 66%. And they'll get another go at it tonight. As I talked about, Angela Tharga had a hat-trick last night. She's got one, she got the assist on the lone goal from Beslin tonight. And, uh, well, her turn to sit. 2.30 remaining here in the second. This is Rutledge. Gilchrist at the side of the net. This is Rutledge now with it. But Gilchrist setting up in the slot. Harassed there by Cockrell. Emma Gray. Sitting on two goals currently. Trying to make it three. Tries to stuff it home. And Coonan got most of the pad down. Back to the point now to Watson. Thought about the shot. This is Rutledge. Carson got an active stick on it. Forced it back out to the point to Watson. 
Wide pass, point to point to Costa. Costa centers, looking for Gray, and she couldn't hold it. Follow-up shot there from Watson was a good one, but straight into the chest of Georgia Carson. Quite a bit of gunpowder on that one, and Gray gets this out to Costa. Been the most effective pairing for the Goannas tonight is Megan Gilchrist. Waiting for the overload to take shape, and while well, that pass went right through the high slot and swatted the length of the ice back into Goanna's territory for Kelly Costa to take over. Goanna's uh, changing the power play unit at the same time. Besslin. Puck coughed up and just offside. And Besslin with a foot right. Jessen with speed on a breakaway. Here comes Christina Besslin walking in and she just left it behind. Timely poke check there from Venning on the back check. Lucky not to concede a penalty as well. But Christine Besslin had a short handed opportunity. Chance to redeem herself from that early penalty. Well, a bit of push and shove at the side of the net. And Referee Steve DeWitt right on top of things. And nothing forthcoming from that. We'll have the face-off to the left of Atkins net. Just under 30 seconds remaining on the power play for the Goannas. And 55 seconds remaining in the second period. 55.5 to be exact. You're a Slipknot fan. It's 555, not 666. Parrington's shot was wide. To borrow a Michael Clough catchphrase. Big shout out to Cloughy if you're listening. Our usual sparring partner in the commentary box for the AIHL season. That shot from the point all the way through to Atkins. That was from Lindsay Aldia. And she gloves it comfortably and will have a face off. Just on that, the AIHL season 94, 96 days to go until that kicks off. 25th of April, which is Anzac Day here in Australia. All eight teams will be in action. Four games on that day. Partnering again, as we talked about, with Soldier on Australia, proud AIHL sponsor. So circle that one in your calendars. It's the week actually also after, as I talked about, the Australian men's team get back from Iceland. Gray pokes it aside, and that will do it for the power play as Tharka steps back on the ice, and we're back to five on five for the last 25 seconds of the period. Rutledge tried to dangle away through Sterity. Rutledge still has it, though, and almost got all the way through the top of the crease. Puck played out. Watson gloves it down. Fans on the shot. Opens the door, though, for Rutledge. Just 10 seconds remaining. Watson's shot was wide. Chance maybe for one more shot from the Goanna's. Time expiring. Pull. She's coughed it up. Here to Thaga. And she's going to run out of time. And shoots it as time is expiring. And that will do it for the second here in Melbourne. And it's the Brisbane Goanna's. 3-1 up over the Melbourne ice. Goals to Emma Gray. He's got two. She scored both goals, two on the power play. And, uh, well, the Mel as I talked about, the Goannas, two for four on the power play. Tonight, they've been lethal. And a lone goal for the Melbourne Ice coming from Christina Besslin. That was in the first period. But the score remains 3-1 in favour of the Goannas. We'll be back with the third period of play in about 10 minutes' time. Don't go away.
And welcome back to the Medibank Ice House here for the third period action between the Brisbane Goannas and the Melbourne Ice here, AWIHL action. Goannas 3-1 up over the M Melbourne Ice in a complete reversal so far of last night's 11-1 drubbing. The Melbourne Ice handed out to the Goannas in that period. It was 1-1 coming into the second and two goals, both to Emma Gray, sitting on two at the moment. And, uh, well, one on the power play, one even strength. And then Brisbane going is trying to take the points here tonight. As we talked about, this is their last uh, trip on the road. Melbourne Ice, last home stand for the season before they go on four games on the road. Double headers against the Sirens and then the Adelaide Adrenaline to close out the season. But 17 minutes remaining in this one. And this starts out in front of the Melbourne Ice bench. Hawkett trying to cut her way through. Players dig at it. This is Vanning. Beaten to it by Besselin. And a 2 on 3 break here for the Ice. This is Besselin. Shoots one and just pulls the trigger and wide of the target. Besselin driving through the net. Tries to. She scored! Un impossible angle from Christina Besselin and she's put it in the net. I actually think Atkins got the initial save. It's, it's dribbled underneath her and from behind the red line, Christine Besselin makes this 3-2. Wow, really sort of in innocuous, innocent play there and uh, well, we've seen him from weirder angles here in Australia and uh, indeed on online, but Christine Besselin, her second of the evening and the Melbourne Ice's second as well and it's 3-2 and the Melbourne Ice back within one of the Goannas. Looks he got a bit of a knee-on-knee knee accidental one on the way through there, but it uh, matters not because she's okay and the score is one more in favour of the Melbourne Ice in terms of there's only one more goal difference as opposed to two. I should have phrased that one better. Anyway, high slot there. Del Basso looking for the tip and just wide of the net. Melbourne Ice now with the momentum. This is De Aldia. Aldia looking for a pass there to Tharka who was just a fraction too slow. And the Melbourne Ice still have control. Oh, this is Parrington. Back to Tharka. Tharka, this is Oldia. And her backhand shot goes wide and bobbles up. And Atkins snatches it out of the air and covers up for the face-off. Well, Melbourne Ice smelling blood in the water and a chance to make it 3-all. And just missing that opportunity. However, 15.44 left of opportunities remaining in this one. Besselin. Outbested there by Venning. Venning trying to clear the zone. Goannas look like they're on the back foot at the moment, but they're on the front foot coming through centre. This is Watson. Up of the circle, tried to centre. And I think McDonald was just uh, unaware of that centering attempt, probably looking for the follow-up rebound after an initial shot, but this is her with it now. McDonald puts one through the crease and no real trouble to Coonan, who's happy to let it go. Rutledge battling with Poynton. This is Sarah T. Venning. Dorset. Besslin out through centre. Besslin one on two here. Besslin looking for the hat trick, but uh, well, she's done well. She's still got it. And Trina Green trying to stuff it home, but it was poked away from her and back out to centre. Out to Laurel Corhut. And on this second pairing with Pereira, who just gets cleaned up and then takes her <laughs> player down rather cheekily. I didn't think Steve DeWitt saw that. Well, we had a couple of big collisions here tonight. Obviously non-contact league or non-intentional contact league, but the hit still happened. This is Corhut. Vanderwolf overskates it, as does Shona Green, and she's turned it right over to Costa, tries to throw it on net, and off a couple of bodies. And the Melbourne Ice take over. Out to centre now. Little pinball and a chance for the Goannas to gain the blue line and gain some territories. I think that was Emma Gray taking a spill. And play continues. Fuck up. Battling with Costa. Puck spills all the way back to centre. And Hurlahay winds up with it now.
Hurlihay and uh, Corhead in a real stick joust. The puck comes all the way back to Christine Cockrell. Melbourne Ice retreating to get back on side. Cockrell pinching in from the point. Cockrell still has it. Tries to centre. And Harrington unable to get a handle on it. Little battle there between Del Basso and Emma Gray. And it spills out. One-time shot there from Carson. And it was blocked. Oh, we got a penalty coming out. That was undisciplined from Georgia Carson. Just giving... I believe that was uh, Megan Hurley. Hey, a little bit of a shot after the after the shot. And two for the price of one, but that turned to her a two-minute stay in the box. And another chance for the Goannas to go on the power play. We talked about two for four already tonight. Fifth power play of the game for the Goannas. So Carson gets the gate for the cross check. 12.59 remaining in the period. Watson just tried to keep it onside, but failed to do so. And out back to centre and a bit of miscommunication from the Goanna's power play unit, but they seem to get things settled now. Megan Gilchrist out there looking to provide the screen on this power play. This is Emma Gray. Two goals already tonight, as we've mentioned. Back to Costa at the point. Gray pursued there by Cockrell. Dawson trying to get this open set up here for Costa. Top of the circle, shoots. And that one's just wide there. The rebound to Gilchrist. And she can't find a home for it. This is Rutledge with Gilchrist. And she just overskates it. Plenty of time and space to recover, though. Megan Gilchrist. Cycles gets knocked over. And that's going to be a penalty. And it's going to go against Pereira. Puck high in the slot and whistled down. And Sien Pereira is going to sit for two for a body check. And it's going to be five on three for the Goannas. And Sien Pereira's second penalty of the game. So we're going to have five on three hockey here for a minute four at least, providing there's no score. And then five on four for the Goannas. And Emma Gray's okay, good to see. She went down pretty heavily into the boards there. In contact hockey, that would have been a good hit. However, 12.03 remaining in the third. And Goan is holding on to their one goal advantage, and they've got a two man advantage right now. See if they can make anything of it. Back to the point. That one just well wide across to stick, and that's going to buy some time here for the Melbourne Ice. Let's see out this five on three power play of the Goannas. Out through center. This is Veronica Watson with a head of steam. Forced wide, Watson still has control. And well, not with a pass like that. <laughs> the commentator's curse starts, strikes again. Shona Green aggressively in on the forecheck, forcing Kelly Costa all the way back into her own end. And 24 seconds remaining on the two player advantage here for the Goannas. This is a, a little bit better from them, a bit more structure. Watson in over the hash marks. Just 10 seconds until Georgia Carson steps back on the ice. And that weak shot there from Bagland opens up a breakaway here for Shona Green. One-on-one -on -one with Atkins. Green walking in, shoots. Oh, what a save from Atkins. Got enough of it to force Green wide and got the pad out. And a great stop there from Kachi Atkins. And she's kept it at 3-2. Short-handed opportunity there for Shona Green, who is still yet without a goal this season. And we got ourselves another penalty. And Christine Besslin is going to go on a penalty exchange program is straight out of the box is Georgia Carson and straight in is Christine Besslin <laughs> revolving door over there at the Melbourne Ice penalty box here early in the third Christine Besslin gets the gate for tripping and it's five on three for at least the next 43 seconds so the Goannas well <laughs> really living dangerously they're almost a short-handed goal only denied by the pad of Atkins and get another opportunity after they really messed around with it on that first five on three. But anyway, they get a chance for redemption here. Down goes Rutledge. Gilchrist tries to come to her aid, but shoveled out there from Lucy Parrington. And all the way back here to Kylie Atkins. Settles it down now. Emma Gray. 
out to Rutledge and an error in the errant pass. That's going to be icing. And while the Goanna's power play, not to be too critical, has really looked out of sorts here early in the... Th after looking devastating for the first two periods. I mean, they said they're two for four. Well, they'll be uh, two for five now. And if, in theory, should they not score on the next two, they'll be two for seven. Del Basso has this down low. Just holds up and held up there by two Goanna's players. But she's done well, Olivia Del Basso, just to eat up some precious seconds on the penalty kill. And those seconds have expired for Cien Pereira, and she steps back on the ice. And we've got five on four hockey here now at the ice house. Del Basso forces things back into her own zone. This is Gilchrist. Oh, centering attempt there from Gray. Finds its way out of Hurlahey. Goannas finally have their formation in shape here and there. Melbourne Ice Sand. Oh, at the back door here is Hurley walking in. Tries to stop it home through Coonan. Mad scramble at the net. Nets off its moorings. And Michelle Coonan stands tall in the Melbourne Ice net after a real frantic passage of play there. And Megan Hurley just couldn't pull the trigger. You mentioned she's the captain, not Kelly Costa. I've been Kelly Costa's the assistant captain, but Megan Hurley has had all the time and space in the world, and Michelle Coonan just didn't give her an inch. And great goaltending there from the Melbourne Ice netminder. And 9:30 remaining, and 46 seconds on the power play remaining for the Goannas. This is a big kill here for the Melbourne Ice, as they're only one behind and one. Player down at the moment. And uh, Costa just uh, failed to pull the trigger. Sanders one, one time shot. What a save from Coonan. Cleared off the line. Oh, active stick there. I believe it was Christine Cockrell. Wow. Kelly Costa can't believe it. Shot from point blank range. Coonan got most of it. And most of the puck stayed on the other side of the red line and cleared off the line. I think it was actually Sarah Teed, excuse me, who's skating off now. Well, plenty of action here late in the third. Almost uh, a 4-2 hockey game there for the Goannas, but uh, denied by the active stick there is Sarah Teed. We play the game so far. 8.55 remaining, 10 seconds left on the penalty to Besslin. Maybe one more chance here for the Goannas. That one slid through the crease. Acosta has it now. And that will do it. Time expires on the penalty to Besselin. Back to even strength. Centering there from Parkin. And she's wrapped up there by her opposite number, Georgia Carson. Hurlahey pursued there by Besselin. Fresh out of captivity. Hurlahey, good job of protecting the puck there down low. Trying to find Parkin. The half wall. And all the way back out to the point. Watson, long range shot, and Coonan got the pad down. Hurlahey, pursued by Cockrell. Goanna's still hemming the ice in in their own end, and just as I said that, the uh, errant pass to trying to find Costa was missed. Well, Goanna's, well, two for seven now. They had a really big opportunity to put this game away. Two five on three advantages and a five on four, and failed to do so. However, 7.51 remaining of this game, and anything can happen. Watson up to Rutledge, who just helps it over the line. Melbourne Ice fresh off a line change. Venning just uh, couldn't handle that pass. Sarah Teed to Rutledge. Teed gives Rutledge a bit of a shove. Rutledge centers and almost off the skate there of Christine Besslin. Manages to control the puck, shoots this one out the zone and into the bench apparently, according to linesman Fraser Olsen, and that will be an inside the zone face-off. 7-17 remaining here in the third period. Goanna's clinging on to a lead by one. Of course, under AWIHL rules, if we do have a tie at the end of the regulation, we'll go straight into a shootout. Gilchrist. Melbourne Ice still controlling most of the draws here tonight. Costa overskated it. 
And all the way back out in the to Watson. Del Basso at the blue line. Waiting for Cockrell to pinch in. And Courtney pulls past, picked off there by Hurlahay and Georgia Carson also pinching in, but she can't control it. Out to centre, this is Hurlahay and pull, pull, wide angle shot, and that one was off the stick of Cockrell and ends up with the hash marks. Carson just feathers this one out to centre. Venning turns it over. Oh, three on one break here now for the ice. This is Thaga shooting, and a great save there from Atkins. Wow, three on one break just like that for the Melbourne Ice. And denied by the great goaltending there from Atkins. He's had a really good game tonight. Slamming the door, moving from right to left. Out on the top of the crease, taking the angle away. And keeping it at 3-2 in favour of the visitors. Six and a half left on the clock. Really good game here this afternoon at the Ice House. Vis-a-vis -vis yesterday's uh, very one-sided affair. The 11-1 scoreline. And Atkins again forced to scramble out into the slot to cover that one and we'll have a face-off to the left. So draw again, one there by the ice. Taken over now by Christina Badgley. Parkins' pass was uh, quite errant and ended up with Sarah Teed, but the Goan has retained control and over the line they come. And a wide angle shot there is off the side of the net and no real threat to Michelle Coonan. I will say that the Goannas have done a really good job of hemming the Melbourne Ice in in their own end in this game, but we've got ourselves a penalty, and it looks like it's going against the Goannas. Just trying to see who's got this one. I believe Christina Badgley's going to get the gate for hooking. And 5.39 left here in the third. Badgley's going to sit for two. Melbourne Ice with a chance to tie things up here. Second penalty of the game to Christina Badgley. So power play here for the next two minutes for the Melbourne Ice. This is Del Basso on the blue line. Quarterbacking this power play unit here for the Ice. Aldia winds up and straight into the shin pads of Rutledge and she'll no doubt feel that on the plane home to Brisbane tonight. Aldia. Beslin. Aldia shooting and deflected and over to the half wall for Del Basso to retrieve. High slot now. This is Bestland. Cranks one and that one was deflected wide. A sliding shot block there from Emma Gray was effective and Puck forced all the way back into the Melbourne Ice end for Christina Bestland to fish out. The Melbourne Ice formation takes shape. It's like Allied Plains over France in 1943. This is Lindsay Aldia, side of the net, tries to centre, and tipped and wide. Aldia tied up there by Watson, giving her the Sherlock Holmes treatment. This is Shona Green, poked away from her, and Hurlahay hurls this one out of the net. Excuse me, out of the zone, Del Basso now. Picks it up and puts it right on Green's stick, who gives it over to Bestland, and she's outbested there by Hawkett. And... Uh, Goanna's killing this one off so far, but Del Basso now has the puck. Del Basso, four on four as the uh, ice are late on a line change. Del Basso slides this one through, but well behind Shona Green, and Christine Cockrell finally arrives a bit late on a line change. Del Basso. Hawkett. Tried to clear the zone. Only as far as the stick of Bestland. 15 seconds remaining on the penalty to Badgley. Maybe one last chance for the ice to get a, a shot off. This one side. Oh, Shona Green had a wide open net and put it wide. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's a little shake of the head in disgust. She had all the net to shoot at. Atkins was beat. That was the best opportunity of that power play with the last two seconds of it. And we're back to five on five as Badgley steps back on the ice. And 3.29 remaining here at the ice house. Great game on our hands so far. 
Del Basso. Poked away from her. Del Basso throws this one blindly and it goes straight to Gray. Rutledge just couldn't control. And on the ice, we're looking a bit out of sorts here on this even strength shift. And Venning. Oh, Venning's coughed it off. Vanderwolf with an opportunity, loses her edge and loses the puck. And well, that blue line again proving pretty lethal to some skaters here at the Ice House. Carson, 250 remaining in the game. Outlet pass up through centre. Stick handling there is Anjali Tharka down the left hand side. Got Carson streaking towards the net, shoots one and goes actually straight into the backside. And Carson, they score! <laughs> Initial shot from Tharka. Rebounded wide, and I believe, I'm just trying to see who scored the goal. I think it was Olivia Dawson there to pounce on the rebound. She's tied the game. It is 3-3, 2.37 remaining in the third period. And I think Tucker's going to get the assist on that one. Wow, what a finish to this game. Total momentum shift here. Melbourne Ice have come back after being 3-1 down coming into the break. They've scored two third period goals. And it's 3-3. So it's going to be Daw it's Dawson from Carson and Tharka. So 3-3 the score and 237 remaining. Wow, what a finish to this game. Goanna's had a foot and four toes in the door and uh, well that's been slammed shut now it's 3-3 anyone's game and Costa can the Goannas muster one in response and they've got just over two and a half to do it this is Del Basso you see a bit of a jump in the step of the Melbourne Ice players Tommy Powell urging his charges on from the bench Fished out to centre. Sarah Teed puts this one high off the glass and into the zone, and the Melbourne Ice players touch up. Kelly Costa. Two goals in as many games from her, and four points in total in this weekend. Gilchrist over skates it. Bestland does it, and she comes out through centre. Bestland one on two, cuts to the outside. Bestland drives towards the net, and Atkins gets both pads down. But it spills out now here to Dawson with a shot. Oh, and off the post. Lindsay Aldia that was on that, that try. And she was beaten, beat everything but the iron. This is Aldia going to have another go at it again. This is Shona Green down low, shoots. And Atkins got the glove on it. Oh, drama here late at the ice house. Melbourne Ice going for the kill. They got the Goannas in the scope at the moment. Bestland. Goannas just trying to hold on. They're hemmed in in their own end. This is... Shona Green driving towards the net again, poked away from her. And finally, the Goanna's able to clear and go for a line change. Wow. And what, Poole throws a, a shot on Coonan's net. It's a bit of a knuckleball, and Coonan covers up. Well, good job from the Goanna's to weather that storm because the Melbourne Ice were circling. Wow, Lindsay Aldia's drive beat everyone but the post. It's almost a special delivery there with a minute 30 to play, and that would have been the would have been it. Just over a minute left in this one. High stick off the face-off from Watson. Good call there from referee Steve DeWitt. And we'll have a reset outside the blue line with just over 107 remaining. Rutledge wins the draw. Goanna's forcing into the zone. Besslin. Rutledge. Tied up there by Besslin. Just under a minute to remaining now. Goanna's with a chance here. Rutledge driving the net. Puck slides through the crease. Much to the release of Michelle Coonan. Turner Green collides. Oh, puck still loose. They jam into the side of the net. And that one just wide as well. Goanna's turn now to swing for the fences. But here's Besslin. Oh, outlet pass here. Melbourne Ice with a chance to win the game. Del Basso shoots and scores! <laughs> Olivia Del Basso with 32 seconds remaining in the game has put the Melbourne Ice in front. They've come from behind 3-1 going into the third. It is now 4-3.
Olivia Del Basso. Cometh the hour, cometh the woman, to change that old phrase, but 4-3, and that's exactly what the Goannas didn't want. They were so dominant for two periods of this game. They were firmly in control, and the Melbourne Ice have battled back, and they forced this one to 4-3. Bestland with that beautiful outlet pass. Del Basso in behind the Goannas' defence, and they're ahead. And the score still not changed on the scoreboard. And it is now. So do we have one more twist in the tail? Goanna's electric not to pull the goaltender. And there's one fished out to center. This is Hawkett now. Maybe one last chance for the Goanna's. Hawkett centers to pull off the skater Bestland. Oh, and Atkins heads for the net now. Oh, empty net here to shoot at Parrington. And offside. Well, and... Clock still uh, in effect. That should be reset there to eight seconds. Clock needs to be reset there. That was at eight seconds. It was, they were late stopping the clock. So, uh, well, that looked like a certain, uh, a certain empty net goal as Atkins. Just a little hesitant and going to the bench and just as she did so there was a four on two break to the Goannas and much of the Brisbane team's relief they were offside and they've got five seconds to do something about it now long range shot there from Hurley straight into the chest and that's going to be it the Melbourne Ice are going to run out 4-3 victors snatching victory from the jaws of defeat a third period comeback where they scored three unanswered goals Fan fantastic game goals to Dawson Audia and Del Basso and the Melbourne Ice 4-3 victors over the Brisbane Goannas. Sterling effort from the Goannas, particularly when you compare it to last night's game where they were thrashed 11-1 and they came to play today and it looked like they were going to come away with the, the three points but not to be outdone. The Melbourne Ice rallied in the third period. The, Tommy Powell must have said something that got them real fired up in the, the change rooms but it was that last five minutes where the Melbourne Ice really stepped on the accelerator and didn't take their foot off the ex of said accelerator and they want to run away with the 4-3 victory here at the ice house and six points on the weekend taking the final two meetings between these two scenes and they take the season series uh, four nothing over the goannas so as for the melbourne ice they've got four games coming up two two games against the adelaide adrenaline followed by two games against the sydney sirens both away actually and that's, uh, that'll commence on the weekend of the 31st. So not next weekend, the weekend after. And as for the Goannas, well, they've only got uh, just the two games remaining against the Adelaide Adrenaline, which won't commence until the 14th of February. As I said, they've got about three weeks off. And in the following week, it's AWAHL finals time. And we'll be bringing you all that action here live on Thortec, live from Adelaide. So that'll be both semifinals on the Saturday and the final on the 